Well, hey, it's Joel, 3D Printing Nerd, and uh, this is the Prusa i3 Mark II 3D Printer. I reviewed this thing and said it was really awesome, better than sliced bread. What you see in front of me here are the Maker's Muse Twisted Lattice Cube Thing models, and it's printing one on the Prusa right here, in fact. Uh, these are cool little models that Angus over at Maker's Muse made as a way to torture the printer. Of course, it doesn't torture it nearly enough because the Prusa machine prints this quite well. There's a little bit of stringing that happens underneath, but that's not the point of this video. My goodness, the point of this video is to test the strength of the Polymax filament. So this white one was printed with a, I can't remember, just white PLA. The green one was printed with ColorFab PLA PHA, and I threw this filament on the Prusa to test the build tack flex plate system. So on a whim, when this was in the garage, I thought, hey, what would happen if I stepped on one of these? And I thought to myself, I should record this. So knowing that this is Polymax PLA filament, it's supposed to be stronger than standard PLA filament. So I'm wondering what will happen if I step on these. So here's what's gonna happen. We have the RX100 Mark V or V and we're gonna focus that on the model and my shoe and the eventual, hopefully, uh, massive failure that's about to happen. And Josh behind the camera. Hi, Josh. Hey -o. Josh will actually take the camera that you're staring at me in right now and move it back a little bit so that you can take in the entirety of the horribleness that's about to take place. So, okay, we're gonna break. We're gonna move some cameras. We'll be right back and it's gonna be awesome two hours later. All right, there we go. So now we've got a camera angle uh, that can see all of me. And then we have a camera angle right here that can see my feet. First up is the ColorFab PLA PHA. It's slightly not complete at the top because I shut off the printer when I was printing it before. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Okay, I think I stepped on the side of it. Is that what happened? Oh, it broke. Oh, okay. Broke right there. Broke right there. Well, let's see if I can't do that again. Maybe I can, maybe I can. Okay. Oh. I stepped on it and then and then and then I, I did a slight bounce. Just a, just a little bounce and we had I would consider this to be a catastrophic failure of the part. Hey. What Josh is telling me off to the sidelines is that I was using this as a, a way to steady myself and once I took my hand off of that with the full Joel on the model it failed catastrophically. We got a Polymax here one one here. We got a Polymax one here. There we go. I had my words mixed up. It's really weird. Let me make sure this is in camera view. Yeah, uh, we're good there. This, so Polymax filament is supposed to be a little bit stronger, which I would assume we're able to handle the full Joel. Hashtag full Joel. Here we go. All right. Ah, it, it broke. Okay, so it broke off to the side, but uh, it's not fully broken, so this is... It didn't come flying off, okay. I just gotta step right, I guess. Okay. I bounced on it. I bounced on it a little bit. All right, I guess let's try it one more time. <laughs> it, keeps, it keeps rolling over. All right, so here's, here's kind of what's going on. It's kind of folded over all sides. So it's inconclusive. Thankfully, we have another. Center. Ah! I'm trying to put all of my weight on it, but it's a very fine point that I'm... Okay, here we go. Ah! Okay, I bounced up and down a little bit. Yeah, you, saw, you see that? That's more than the color fat PLA PHA can take. So uh, according to my incredibly non-scientific tests, the Polymax filament is a little bit stronger 
a lot of it stronger than the ColorFab PLA PHA. Do we move up to the big ones for the test? Okay, we've got two left. I have a can't remember standard PLA and we have the Polymax PLA. All right, here's the big one. Maybe it'll be easier to stand on. <laughs> okay, so the standard PLA um, Maker's Muse Torture Cube did not withstand the full Joel. It lasted longer than the green one, longer than the color fab, didn't it? No, because you you didn't even half your weight was still on the table and it was oh, very down okay. your weight. But but it is a bigger model and we don't know how the model size affects things. That's a good point. To make everything crystal clear, the big ones and the small ones were all printed with the same G code. So the color fab model and the Polymax models were using the same G code. The Polymax model and the white unnamed PLA model were using the same G code. And it was on this machine. Here we go. This is the big Polymax one. Josh's prediction is that this will hold, but it'll creak a little bit under the stress of the full Joel. I think it's gonna hold it no problem. Okay. I'll make sure I center my weight. You can already see it bending. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. I'm no, I'm no circus performer. Ah, the sides are bending. Wait, I may have... I think you were right. Let's see if I can't do it one more time. I don't see any structural damage other than the bottom side, you know? Okay. There we go. Oh, I would say that's fair. I would say that's fair. I These, the sides still gave out and the bottom of the model actually delammed a little bit. But the model itself is still... It still looks good here. All right, well, there we go. Testing at least proved that the Polymax filament was stronger than the PLA and stronger than the PLA PHA from ColorFab. But as to getting a final result, it's a little inconclusive because uh, I kept rolling on this point and I wasn't able to put my full weight on it, whereas on the smaller ones, I was able to. All right, hold the phone, just a second. We have one of these. I think we should do some further destruction. <sighs> Safety first. Safety first. All right, so this is the small one. And we're just gonna put it in the vise. We're gonna see what happens. Oh no. Here we go. Ooh. Heard a crack. It's like half its size. But it's not shattering. It's more, it's it's bending and, I mean, it's failing, but it's, okay, there we go. Interesting. Look at that. The model itself failed, but it's still got some rigidity and some strength in the rest of it. It was, it's, it's a, Total failure, but I'm still surprised at how strong the rest of the model is. It went to about half its size before the first crack. It did go to about half its size. All right, well, we got the big one. Is this gonna be big enough? Yeah. Yes. It just fits. <laughs> you ready, Josh? Let's crack this egg. This is actually tough to turn. Oh, I hear some cracking. Here's some cracking. So nothing has failed at this point. The white PLA model was already catastrophically failed by this point. So let's keep going. I hear cracking, but it's not breaking. It's not, oh, did you hear that? Okay. Look at this thing. 
Wow, look at this. <laughs> oh, I heard a crack, but, but look at it. <laughs> wow, so it's bending. It's it's cracking. There are there is cracking, but it's cracks down in the bottom. bottom oh, left. oh, right there. Right there. Okay. Uh, we got break, separation. Where? Okay. Oh, look at that, yep. All right. It literally broke in one spot. All right, here's the, here's the white one. This one compressed down. It broke in one spot and the rest of it just kind of folded in. Let's, let's put this in, let's see what happens. We could do it across here. Ah, oh, there you have it. Further destruction, hopefully proving some sort of point. I did think that this performed incredibly well. I'm floored by what this has done, right? Because it didn't, there were some catastrophic failures, but it wasn't, it wasn't an explosion. It wasn't snapping into a bunch of pieces. It was bending and contorting and still maintaining some sort of strength to it. Look, it completely failed. It's completely squished, but I can't pull it apart. Cool. That was kind of fun. I've always wanted to uh, test some some model strength. This is a way to do it. It's completely not scientific, but we did get to stand on some things and break them. That was fun. All right. Well, I think it's only appropriate if I put on sign. Let's give it a try. There we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of when cool new stuff comes onto the channel. Big thanks to everybody that supports me via Patreon, YouTube Red, and if you, for letting the ads play. And finally, don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. As always, high five. <laughs>